Hello students, welcome to BTEC 360. NIT Calicut, founded in 1961 as a regional engineering college Calicut, this institution was envisioned as a national center for engineering excellence in Kerala. It spread over 300 acres campus in the Western Ghats. It is one of India's largest NITs, known for strong academics, research culture and alumni across core engineering and tech. Now let's examine with data of how do you get into NIT Calicut, what is the kind of placement that you get, what kind of salaries do you get, what kind of companies come, what kind of roles are offered. If you were to get into NIT Calicut, we'll tell you everything that you need to know about how to get into NIT Calicut and what are the career pathways and what are the student outcomes that you should be looking at. Let us look at data to understand NIT Calicut in greater depth. And before I go move any further, if you're not subscribed to BTEC 360, please do it right now. It is in your own interest because we're going to give in a lot of information, a lot of data so that you get into the best BTEC college, best engineering college that is possible. Now talking of NIT Calicut, we'll talk of placement stats, salary data, recruiters, job role wise performance and everything that you need to know. NIT Calicut, as I said earlier, was established in 1960. It's one of the oldest NITs that you have in the country. It's an INI, which is Institution of National Importance. What it means is that the institution has a lot more autonomy to create courses which are innovative, which are new age, where you don't need to go back and take permissions and those kind of things. And to that extent, all INIs are, have a lot more autonomy than what other institutions would be, right? It spread over 300 acres of land. The total number of students in UG is 3,873, of which boys are 76%. And girls are 24 percent right and 52 percent right is outside the state of course because all in it is you know half of it is within the state which is what it is and that's what is you can see it re reflecting here the other two percent and all can be because of extra numeracy seats and those kind of things that's the only thing that happens and about 33 students come from outside the country also and the total faculty is 361 for this number of seats that you have, which is a decent student faculty ratio. Now, coming back to the placement, because we're talking of what are the student outcomes? What are your chances of getting into a decent, uh, you know, company at what kind of salary? That is what one is looking for. So for that, we looked at the data of students who entered in 2021 and who exited in 2024. Now, this, this data is given to or submitted to the government of India for the NIRF purposes, which is National Institutional Ranking Framework purposes. So this data is much more authentic because it's filed on an affidavit by the institution to the government of India. And to that extent, you know, the chances that it will be a lie are slightly lesser. Having said that, a lot of more institutions, especially India, you know, you know what, uh, how people work, they try to find loopholes. So there would be some data that is wrong. But of all the data that's available out there, this is possibly more authentic than any other data. Right. So when we looked at that data of students who got into 21 and passed out in 24, there were 920 students who were admitted, of which 902 students graduated. So the others would have dropped out in the mid course or, they, you know, in a sense, they would have possibly not, not graduate, which means they failed also. That's both are possible. But about 902 students passed out. Right. When of the 902 students who graduated, 799 were placed. And 76 students opted for higher studies. Now, this happens a lot in NITs that, you know, quite a few students opt for higher studies because their pathway is slightly different as compared to many others, right? Now, when you look at that, of the 902, 799 were placed and 76 were not, play, you know, opted for higher studies. So, basically, the number of students who opted for placement comes down from 902 minus 76, right? Which essentially means 826. So 826 students sat for placement and 799 students were placed. So that's what we are talking about. When you deal with that, the placement percentage is 96.73%. Right. And the median salary of this institution has been consistently growing. It's now 12.5 lakh rupees median salary. So of that 799 students who, who are placed, the median salary is 12.5 lakh, which is a very good number. And of course, it comes with the legacy and the pedigree of the institution, which is established in 1961, so obviously. And this has been pretty consistent. If you look at the whole thing, the placement at NIT Calicut has been pretty consistent, 90, 98% here, 99% here, and 97% here. So pretty much consistent. And the median salary has been growing from 10.8 to 11.7 to 12.5 lakhs. So again, the trending is very, very good, unlike many of the baby IITs. So 
if given a choice between a baby IIT, you know, bottom 15 IITs versus NIT Calicut, I would always say if you have a decent option, go for NIT Calicut than those institutions. Now, you further go uh, and look at the data slightly more closely. I told you 12.5 lakh was the median salary. The average salary is 12.17 lakh. Median is 12.5 lakhs. And average is 12.17, which essentially means that we are very pretty much close. The data is very consistent and the kind of offers that are being also are very, very consistent. The highest package, of course, is 56.59 lakh. But I will always tell people, don't go by just the highest package. It's not that you're going to get the highest package. There can be one odd number which gets you a one crore package. It, that does, doesn't define a good institution. A good institution is defined by how, you know, you actually have the average and the median salary. And that seems to be pretty consistent out here. Now, how do you get into NIT Calicut? And here we are talking of outside the home state. We are not talking of home state. We are talking of outside the home state, J main rank. At what J main, main rank for outside the home state do you have a chance of getting into NIT Calicut? And what branch? When we look at that, these are category ranks. Remember that. They are all category ranks. At 171 general category, you get into J main rank 171, you get into BTEC Computer Science in NIT Calicut. For artificial intelligence and data analytics, 306. For electrical engineering, 849. Computational engineering and mechanics, 1309. And BTEC engineering physics, 1441. We'll keep talking of other branches also, but first let's finish this. EWS category rank, JE main 29, you get into BTEC CS. AI is 65. EE is 198. Computational engineering is 293. And engineering physics is 586. Again, I'm repeating, it's category rank EWS for this one, non-home state. OBC is 87 rank, 165 for AI, 396 for EE, electrical engineering, 741 for computational engineering, 1011 for engineering physics. For SC category rank, outside home state, NIT Calicut, 43 SC category rank, you get CS, 113 you get AI and data analytics, 278 category rank, you get BTEC electrical engineering, Computational Engineering and Mechanics 510 and Engineering Physics 1015. ST it is 28 category rank. Again, I'm saying, I repeat, non-home state, NIT Calicut, right? AI 44, 153 for Electrical Engineering, Computational Engineering and Mechanics 355 and Engineering Physics 1719, right? And remember, this is only, what we've taken is only male and we did not put in any category for home state or for any other categories. We created a detailed, you know, ebook, a comprehensive guide. Please download the, you register and download the comprehensive guide. You have it, it is free. You can download it as we speak. Now, moving ahead, BTEC Energy Engineering 25,927, Chemical Engineering 26,282, Material Science and Engineering 30,375, Civil Engineering 32,686, Biotechnology Engineering 35,514, and Production Engineering 36,080. Uh, for EWS category rank 3959, 4030 for chemical, material science 5891, civil engineering 4882, biotechnology engineering 5985, production engineering 6000. For OBC, 9199 for uh, energy engineering, 8232 for chemical, material science 10182, civil 10644, biotechnology 12175, and BTEC production engineering 11227. And uh, SC 3694, ST 3488 for Energy and so on and so forth. You actually can see the data here as you as you speak. Please take a screenshot of that. This will help you understand how you and what branch for non-home state at a category rank you are likely to get into any other branches offered by NIT Calicut. What are the companies that come for placement here? All good companies come for placement here. If, if you look at it, Oracle, Salesforce, Alt uh, Atlassian, Hindustan Unilever, PNG, Qualcomm, NVIDIA. So you have some of the best tech companies, right? Investment banks, consulting companies, banks, banks, tech companies, consulting companies. So you actually have tech companies. So you actually have Dishaw is the investment banker, you know, manufacturing or automotive, automotive, Suzuki, automotive, automotive, JSW Steel, manufacturing, ExxonMobil, Bharat Petroleum, P PC, SPCL, which is oil and natural gas and all. So you have all kinds of companies that are going for placement at NIT Calicut, which is a good sign. We also looked at data of students who passed out of NIT Calicut or who claim that they passed out of NIT Calicut. And what are they doing currently? Because it gives you a larger landscape of what, how do students who passed out of NIT Calicut what are they doing over the past many years? It's not one year placement, but over a period of time. When we looked at that, we found 35,055 students who claimed that they studied at NIT Calicut. 
Of course, it's been there since 1961. So obviously, we have many students coming out from there. Of this 35,055, right now, 139 students are working in Microsoft. 198 students are working in Deloitte. 59 students are right now working in EY. Qualcomm 239 students are working. So obviously, because these companies go there for placement and all, you can very clearly see the kind of reflect, it, it reflects in the kind of number of students who are right now working. In fact, over a period of time, if you look at it, 361 of these 35,000 students worked at Microsoft at some point in time. Similarly, in Deloitte, 562 students worked at some point in time and so on and so forth. That's the data that you're dealing with. But we also wanted to look at the if it's the, you know, the trillion dollar companies and whether they recruit and whether the students who studied at NIT Calicut find their way of uh, working there. When we look at that data, that's also very, very impressive. 53 of the students are right now working in Meta, which is Facebook, WhatsApp and everything in and all. Apple 73 are working right now. Amazon 223 students are working. Nvidia 79 students are working. Yes, Nvidia, if you remember, is going for placement also. Google 130 students are working. So it's a very, very good reflection of the kind of quality of the learning that happens at NIT Calicut because of which these students somehow find their way of working in these companies, right? In fact, if you look at the overall, you know, how many students worked at any point in time in any of these companies, that's also very, very uh, impressive. Uh, and it's quite good that so many students are right now working in and uh, in these companies also. We also looked at how many of the students, you know, where are the domicile, where are they currently located? When we look at that data also, it's again very impressive. 77% students work in India, which also means 23% students. These are very big number work world over. Right. This is a very, very good number. 23% students of who studied NIT Calicut are not in India are working globally. Right. And when you drill the further and look at the data, 10% of them are working in USA or placed in USA or living in USA. 4% are working in UAE or living in UAE. 2% are working in United Kingdom. About 487 students, which is about 1.5% are in Canada. Another 1.5% is in Australia. Another 1.25% 1, 1 is in Germany. So the students who studied at NIT Calicut are so good that they could find their way and get, gain global careers and have moved out of India and also are really living outside of India, working there, which is a very, very good sign. And this is very important because when you look at a longer pathway of these students, of how they're performing in their life, in their career and all, this 23% reflects the best that you can think of for any institution at this point in time. That, you know, it's doing extremely, extremely well and this is a very good consideration set for you. We, I want to keep this kind of content for you. So if you want uh, me to cover any other college of your choice, please write to me in the message box. I'll be happy to cover that. And please, please subscribe to BTEC360 if you've not already done that. Thank you so much. Namaste.